there, this is Control Ghost with this new tutorial. Uh, this is about how to make fake key gens. This is the most basic tutorial here, and this is just random number generating. So, you're going to make something that looks a bit similar to this. Obviously, the background image and stuff will be your own. You can fiddle with the opacity. When you click the button, it generates random number. Now, if you go on eg.com, I double J I, <coughs> and then you'll find that this is the style of code that you'd use to by to enter to have G coins which is the equivalent of like a uh, Microsoft points and Xbox um, and so yeah so to make this <coughs> this is my project here make a new Windows form application call it whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as Windows forms application <coughs> laggy laggy computer right so now we've got a form one you want a button and a text box pretty simple. Make the text box as big as small as you want just, or just leave it. And you want to rename the button to generate for obvious reasons. <coughs> and then you know you can do whatever you want with this. You know, make it big, small, I don't know. And um fiddle with the opacity down here, opacity, eighty, so it'll look a bit see through, transparent, that sort of thing. Okay then. <coughs> So anyway, you can also import your background images, change the stuff, or use .NET bar, but that's fine. So, coding. We want to click on both of these. And, <coughs> text box. Now, what you want to do is go to the button one handling. So when this is clicked, add this code. I'll have it in the description. <coughs> Dim i as long. i is equal to, so this is to set a value to i variable i int random asterisk and then one and ten zeros <coughs> and then close parenthesis <coughs> then you just then assign a i to text box one so change text box one dot text to i pretty simple that's all there is to it and um yeah so then when we go debug this project there you go, pass C, you see, you can see through it. Generate, it does this. <coughs> and that's basically it. My next tutorial on Visual Basic will be a more advanced version of this, so you can have, uh, so you, it's like a Microsoft serial key style <coughs> generator, so you can have five letters and numbers, and then um, have hyphens in between them and randomly generate that perfectly. I have my code here my spare code that I wrote last night all there for the next tutorial so uh, that's it from me peace